want to learn how to make a throw pillow. Actually, my daughter made this uh, some few days ago when she got bored. So she made this. And remember, we learned how to make this in our previous uh, lesson. So we're still using the same fabric. So now, what do we need to make this Ankara throw pillow? We need a fabric. We need a scissors, we need a needle and thread, then we need a fiber. Big fiber. Okay. Now the true pillow we want to make today, we have two types of true pillow. We have the open true pillow wearing. You can open it, put your fiber, you close it back, and you have it as a true pillow. Then you have the sealed true pillow, wherein all the edges are completely sealed. Now, this is the sealed one we are going to be making today as a beginner. True pillows have standard sizes we want to make for professional users. But today, we want to do something that is very uh, simple and easy to make since we are learning. So we want to reduce the sizes so that it can be uh, fast to boost our confidence. So today, we want to make something in a rectangular form, not the regular square. We want to do something in a rectangular form. For those of you scared of the uh, sizes, let's just, we still have to make use of mats. So let's know what's the size of this one. We have 12, okay, 13 inches by 20, 21 inches. So we just cut off this extra. Just cut off this extra. Now, this is what we have right now. We make a rectangle true pillow. This is the front. So, we'll sew from inside. We sew from inside. You threaded your needle. You're going to be doing a running stitch inside. So, let's go. Okay, so we're making a uh, sealed true pillow. That's for the beginner stage. Okay, now. Like I said right now, we are doing a back stitch. Take it back, move forward. I know some of our kids might want to do running stitch. Running stitch is okay, but I always prefer back stitch. It makes it more uh, firm and secure. Go forward, you come backward, and you go forward again. Forward backward forward okay so forward again you have to take the needle backward then take it forward again now look at the thread we're making sorry you might not be able to see at the back all the stitches are covered they are closed but at the front you might see space due to the way you took it back so that is just the way it goes and that is how we're going to do it round sorry now take it back again and go forward so we do that we do that all round till we get to this level where we can now stuff our we we'll turn it upside down and stuff our fiber in so let me quickly Keep doing it. I'm done sewing all the edges with my needle and thread. So all I need to do now is to open up. Put in our fiber. Now, if you don't have a fiber at home. We can make use of old fabrics, condemned fabrics that you know, or dresses you know you're not going to be wearing again. You can use them to stuff your pillow. 
okay or if you have a whole lot of throw pillows in the house like i do you can remove one of their fibers and use it to stuff your pillow of open throw pillows so what do we do right now we fold here in you can use your pin your office pin to hold it so that you This is blanket stitch. Okay, so here is our finished work. After doing the blanket stitch, this is you. Now, you can also decide to use a wool to do a blanket stitch around these edges. It will become another beauty entirely. Or if not, you can also leave it at this. Keep this privately for yourself. You can also make a different design on it. You can make a bow tie, a bow tie and just put whatever you want to put. Okay, whatever design decoration you want to do is fine. Or I want to go a step further. I want to make a blanket stitch round it with my wool. I want it to look more beautiful and more organized so I just start from this angle when you're doing your blanket stitch make sure that you have in the same uh, space so that's where the beauty will be and also make sure your thread is on the edge What I'm doing right now is optional, really. It's optional. If you want to go an extra mile to beautify your work, then you can do this blanket stitch on the edge, round it. to create your first loop okay so with that you can continue with subsequent loop this makes you to learn how to be patient now to persevere okay so if you want the best you have to stay longer to get the thing's done. Take it back and you knot it. And that is it. So, here is our true pillow. Here is it. Here is it. Here is it. So we've used the blanket stitches to make the edges. So this is the beginner's class. This is sealed throw pillow. 
Okay, so enjoy.